So we got a fun little project today. Got this old uh, Lenovo Y900. It's been sitting collecting dust for a while, so I'm gonna take it out, give it a little refurbish, and make it our new living room VR machine. The big thing is that this desktop needs a new motherboard. So what I got here is the Gigabyte Z270 PD3 motherboard. Uh, nothing too flashy about it. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna see the full specs on it. Beyond the motherboard, everything else is just kind of an add-on, so to speak. The Lenovo case is kind of unyielding. Unwielding? Unwieldy? The Lenovo case is a bit big. If we want this to be a living room PC, I went for a case that was a bit smaller. The Core G3 from Thermaltake. As you can see, the box that this goes in is about the same size as the tower for the Lenovo. So this is quite a bit smaller. The reason why I chose this one is it kind of had a console, like a console stereo aesthetic to it, where it looked like you would have this set in your entertainment center. So that's the main reason I chose this. It's not flashy, there's no RGB in it. It's really simple, subdued, something that would be great for when you just want it tucked out of the way. You're not trying to show it off, you just want it to fit and work. And I was actually going to stop there, but then I realized that the stock air cooler that comes in the Lenovo doesn't fit in this. What we went with is an AIO. The H60 from Corsair, it is a simple, unassuming, and most importantly, not too expensive water cooling system. It is compact. It fits in the case with plenty of room, so the airflow and cooling will not be an issue. And then of course, there was one remaining thing that I didn't think to account for, and that was the power supply. So I got the Corsair SF600 power supply, and this is actually a refurbished model, so saved a few bucks there. In talking about that, I realized I kind of skipped over the computer itself. It is the Lenovo Y900. It comes with a Core i7 6700K, 16 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 1080. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to dismantle the Lenovo PC and pull all the parts out of it and then load them into the Core G3. Hopefully, all of the information will remain intact. The last time it ran, the operating system was perfectly fine, so hopefully new drive over into the other motherboard and it should operate. If not, I have a copy of the operating system key and I can just do a completely fresh install. Hopefully, we'll hit the ground running with it. And without further ado, we'll get right into it. Now, for those of you that have been watching this video series, the Real Nate Gear video series, you may notice I am relatively new at this, more of a behind the scenes guy, not really in front of the camera guy, so I'm learning as I go. So the videos may be inconsistent at times, but if you do like these, do let me know, because I definitely am enjoying making them, and if you guys are, I'll enjoy it even more. But if you didn't, let me know, and if nothing else, I'll see if there are ways that I can improve to be make this more enjoyable, or if we should try something else. Okay, we got everything that we were taking out of this one, which is CPU, GPU, drives.
Well, that was fun. It wasn't completely free of issue though. I did run into a problem where I didn't have enough hardware because originally what I wanted to do was have a push-pull situation with the fans, but I did not have, it did not come with enough hardware to be able to connect two fans to the radiator. So I just made it a push system and then I moved the other fan to the top just to get a little bit more airflow in there. Might have done a pull system, but the radiator wouldn't fit on the other side either. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Did run into an issue with the mounting bracket for the GPU. I mean, I know a GTX 1080 is kind of an obscure card, but you think they would take into consideration that design, but I don't know, may maybe they can only compensate for so much. But Either way, I actually had to do a little cutout for the plug so that this would fit properly. Cable management was not terrible. Like, I mean, you guys can see it's like, okay. I mean, at least all the cables are black so they don't stand out too much. It would have been nice if there was more room in the back. Like there's literally no, like I tried to put the cable, tuck the cables through the back, but it just wouldn't fit. So I had to just route them in the case, which, you know, as you can see, some is better than others. I mean, realistically, all they would have had to have done is added like an eighth of an inch to the thickness of the box and that would have would have done it just fine all things considered though I think it's gonna work just fine was actually pleasantly surprised that it literally just fired up like I had to redo the the password on it but otherwise see I'd never just changed a motherboard before like I've I've done greater degree of builds and then like switched out you know other pieces of hardware but I've never just done a motherboard and I wasn't actually sure what to expect and I was pleasantly surprised that it literally just fired right up as if it was still in the Lenovo so that was that was quite nice and then once I got it fired up I ran a quick benchmark one that I had run previously it appears to be running identical to how it was before which is no surprise like that's pretty much how it should because it's basically all the same hardware the motherboard so uh, yeah it's basically running exactly as anticipated but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this PC uh, refurbish. I don't know, I guess you can call it a build because I did completely build out this case. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I did making it. It was a lot of fun and I look forward to doing more of these. Be on the lookout for more hardware videos. Probably not going to be too many like PC build videos, but definitely, hopefully, more in the future. If you guys like this video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know. And if you're so inclined, do hit subscribe and hit that bell for notifications on all future RNG, Let's Plays, and hardware videos. And until the next video, I will see you guys later.